Welcome back to the heat. Oh, welcome back to the goo. Oh, welcome back to the heat. This BPM right, is insane. Slow it down. Welcome back to the. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. And that's drum and bass, fellas. Let me have a dollar. Oh, you guys everyone, go to the Met Gala? Let me be light. You doing two notes right there at it one time? Like, like an not insane go to the Met Gala, no. DDR song or some shit. That was wild. <laughs> I've, been yeah, listening, I've been listening be to a lot of uh, dubstep recently. McNasty, be proud of me. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Whoa, whoa! I'm proud what of you. What was that <laughs> for the whole what just happened? Hey, what just happened? <laughs> Sorry, I touched your knee there. Smush your baby with your elbow. <laughs> I'm going to take you out and get an ice cream for listening to so much so dubstep. One time bomb a fetus. Swan, Swan, Joe Swanson bomb a fetus. Do you guys think dubstep's going to last forever into no. the future Probably. of humanity? No, nah, most songs are about four minutes. Or do you think... <laughs> <laughs> I got I mean, a poop. Some of them are short <laughs> Dude, all day I've had these poops. I don't know if they're turds or not. I, okay, I that wasn't... I've never heard someone describe my life more loud. perfectly. That was loud. And... <laughs> Have you ever Dude, taken my, so... My, my butthole's like right on the edge of the couch. That was perfect. It's just brave to push that, stinks. that hard. That stinks. Mm, I ain't that brave. God, please Ethan, let me reincarnate I'm sorry. as the leather on that couch. I'm not sorry. Yeah, I'm jealous I'm on that farmland right now. Fuck. I'm I'm sure hope that goes that right up your nostrils. I'm, I'm trying to not breathe in my nose right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just shit myself a little bit. Ooh, I'll drink to that. Have you guys ever like sh- taken a big shit and then right after a mm-hmm. big fart? Like there was a fart trap behind your turd. It's like I think that's a medical out by issue. the gas, and then it's like a projectile. <laughs> yeah, it's like a phone in the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. It's like you a, like the a plop car, and then like a like a machine gun. Yeah. Like... <laughs> it's like a car backfiring. That yeah. fart though feels so <laughs> good. He's got, got anti like leg. <laughs> I like Amazing. I like what? the ones I like the ones that are like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really it's like a shotgun though, blast. Like a week ago, I actually did go to. I was at the bar and I went to like stand up real quick and I did shart. I'll admit it right here. <laughs> oh really? Like an actual I'll admit it. poop in pants shart? <laughs> like full on, full I had on to go home. town. I had yeah. to. I had to close out and leave immediately. I wish I had that as like a defense mechanism to getting molested. You just just you shit do. myself <laughs> everywhere. It's like a lizard with like <laughs> a like, probably like you a have a defense yeah, mechanism. Yeah, I don't press know. press my like molest button and shit all over myself. <laughs> Honestly, that's a good idea if you're getting like. Unconsensually butt fucked, just crap. Just Oof. shit on the dick or something. Yeah. I but feel like somebody you. who's who's going to Make town sure on you unconsensually really doesn't care about shit. <laughs> you snorting some coke off the side of the fucking thing or what? <laughs> I'm laughing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like doing oh, a shit. fentanyl boof off the camera. <laughs> boof. <Fentanyl. laughs> Isn't this like like boof a, the butt thing? Sounds like a black kid. <laughs> fentanyl boof. I don't know if that sounds like a black kid. I think that was just racist. Yeah. I think you're right you about that. You're talking about one. black kids. Why are you talking about kids at all? They're not boof. They're not boof. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it sounds like an Indian kid. Uh, Is that better? I don't mean invented all boof. Okay, no, that's. Yeah. You're not. You're not doing it yourself any favors right now. What? what okay, it sounds like a like, white kid. Hello, my name I is Fenton like all boof. It's, is that no, better? No. Just stop. Just no, leave, that's it, the leave worst it in the of past. All. That was the most racist one. Fuck! Leave it in the past. Um, uh, what else can we talk about other than fentanyl That's booth? it. Like, uh, comment, subscribe. <laughs> hope y'all have a fentanyl it. booth podcast. <laughs> Thank fuck. Hope we're done. Enjoyed. Use code Sorry. Goons. Gamer subs. Uh-oh. Drink this shit right here. Oh, code Goons. That what is like that? Oh, are you trying, your the, are you trying the flavor? No, this is just strawberry. Oh. Well, it's like the you saliva in my mouth when flavor. I get a tooth pulled. This is our flavor. It's good. Do it. My yep. urine I don't know what it is yet. Our flavor? What are you talking about, our flavor? We don't have that. Our, our, our that flavor? Yet? The our, our flavor? Our, is it our, non-GMO? I think everyone in their grandma knows No, where. it's extra GMOs. Yeah, extra. I'll take it's it. It's pure GMO. We got gluten we got hormone replacement there. Gluten in the drink. <laughs> it's a genetically modified regular Gluten enslaved drink. Ooh. Instead of gluten free, amen. Ooh, 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 Extra ooh, ooh. gluten. Can you Where just sell it? straight up gluten? Don't people buy gluten to make bread? Yeah, I don't know. Probably. Is that a turkey you're putting up on the screen? Yeah, it's yeah, turkey. But... Okay. I think gluten, ah, uh, gluten is a byproduct of what kind of turkey? A product you buy. <laughs> what? 
Oh. There's been three right different now. conversations going on this entire yeah, podcast. I don't, I, I don't know. Pretty minutes ago, I was dead either. tired, and then I drank a whole thing of coffee, and um, so <laughs> autistic. You drank coffee Why last night that? too. Yeah, you did do that. Yeah, I'm. I was a, very I'm surprised a, when I'm I saw that message. Now. I'm a I'm fucking avid coffee drinker. You know, it's 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 the it's the caffeine it helps no my way. ADHD. It helps. It helps. It helps your ADHD. Worse. I focus I don't better. Think that'd be the case, my boy. That should it should no, it'll do the opposite to your ADHD. You hold on. First I'm of give all, you a complex you task and see if you can complete it. First of all, you're stinky. Second of all, unrelated, but yeah, <gasps> valid. I love that whenever you don't have an argument, you literally just <laughs> grunt at me. That's the, like I feel like I'm in a, every time, a fight with like a water did. buffalo. Who's winning right. right now? Clearly me for the grunt. Sure, buddy. <laughs> Where'd y'all get no, them oh, sorry. lit ass hats yeah. though? Yeah, those hats are sick as fuck. Where'd you get them lit ass hats from? They were sent in fan mail. Hell yeah. That's good ass fan mail. Okay. Why'd you say that like you had a lot more to say? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I thought you were going to go and then, and then it just didn't do anything at all. And then, straight to the point, we're done. Next topic. Yeah. <laughs> and then we opened the fan mail. Okay. And then? And then. <laughs> okay. We put on hat. There were hats nice. inside. Nice, 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 I feel nice, like nice. I'm doing an interview with somebody on heroin. <laughs> like a half, like a second late. And in five years, I see myself wearing this hat. Yeah. Speaking Amen. of interviews, where do you see yourself in five years? Wearing a Skoden Studis hat. How about you, buddy? <laughs> You're hired. I just think I, I don't, what is happening right now? <laughs> Shitpost.gov. <laughs> is it is the are the letters Government like embroidered shit. or is it just like printed on? I don't know, dude. I don't know anything about printing. I think shit it's like a five dollar hat. They're just kinda like it feels like it on there, like sticker. ironed on. It feels like a sticker. It's an ironed on sticker. Oh. Yeah. Something like that. It's kinda cool. It look good though. Looks fucking does the, uh, you're kind of lying to both of them. What? It looks fucking great. I'm I think it goes pretty hard. I've been wearing this hat out yeah. in public. I'm bricked. Do people ever like ask you what it means? Absolutely not. Four or five of them. They have Skoden Studis hats for our Spotify listeners. Oh yeah, I guess we do. Skoden Studis. I said it actually works out because I've I've just happened to be wearing this one. And I was like, it works out that he's sitting to the left because the saying is Skoden Studis. It's not Studis Skoden. No, oh, yeah. Studis so Skoden sounds retarded. Don't ever Studis say Skoden? that. Oh, yeah. No, that would be Let's that do this. Let's insane. go then. No. Yeah. It's perfect. I agree. It's a match made in heaven, like mayonnaise and crime. <laughs> that was a Patrick when Star podcast ever heard it? <laughs> <laughs> the mayonnaise commit <laughs> Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> <laughs> what are you... I refuse to kill somebody unless I'm having a full bowl of mayonnaise with a spoon while I do it. Correct. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's fucking your feet? putrid. What? What are you gonna kill them with your feet? Your hands are Wait. occupied. You eating the no, mayonnaise? No, I, I kill. I have the mayonnaise on the side. It's like an oh. odor before I oh. kill them. You know. That's hey, nasty. Smart. I got beef with you, by the way. You fucker. You do. Last yeah, last week. <clears throat> Me and Blarg were like, what have you guys been up to? And you're like, oh, sleeping and masturbating. <laughs> I ain't done nothing. And then I get on Twitter or whatever, and it's like, new McNasty EDM project coming this weekend. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's you didn't my, think to talk about that? That's like, my damn have, ADHD, like, but I forget. Forget about my life. No, you forget I, about your whole no musical way side project. I can tell you what I was doing at six years old on a fucking <laughs> Tuesday at 6 p.m., but I cannot tell you what I ate for dinner yesterday. Have a lot of sixes in there. What, what were you boy. doing at 6 p.m. while you were six yeah. years old? Sleeping and beating off. <laughs> uh, I believe that, and I'm upset. Just take notes throughout the day. Like, oh yeah, I am working on this. I'll talk. Yeah, about I can it on talk the about. I can talk yeah, about I this on the podcast. So. I do that with a sharpie on my white wall with a bunch of string and printing out photos. Of people, you at should the probably park. stop doing that. <laughs> no, but yeah, EDM photos. <laughs> No, but yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds good, dude. Yeah, thanks. That's the uh, single read there. Is that how you start your EDM shit? Do you do you start it with like a ra 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 and then you just like put it in a doll? Honestly, usually what I do is I go and listen to a bunch of like just EDM. Like I re I recently discovered these like couple of artists that I never really heard before, and they kind of make like a different variation of dubstep. It's called tear out. And it's kind of more of like everything's more like Tear percussive out? and stabby. Yeah. So this artist, mm, uh, I've never heard of that. This artist Muerte and Murata, like these two guys I recently Sound found. Sound like Mexican Ooh. drug dealers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're both Mexican. Just the yeah. AI. He like just an episode an of Breaking Bad. <laughs> He's like, make a song that sounds like them on to AI, and they just make him a whole I album. I, I feel like 
AI yeah, could probably do that, honestly. I f- yeah, they I can. feel like if any if any genre is going to be made by AI properly, I feel like it's dubstep. True. Seems yeah, kind of fitting. Say. Seems kind of fitting for dubstep to be made by AI because it sounds really robotic. Yeah. Like a robot arm falling off. Yeah. But um, what no, I started f- listening to these guys and then I just like looked up a bunch of like, it kind of re-inspired me to want to start making the music again. And I've always kind of been retarded with dubstep because it's not like, it's not conventional. You could have stopped at retarded, buddy, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I just looked up like tutorials on like I hear. how to <laughs> do music like Morate, how to do music like Murata. And then I just kind of followed the tutorials and then I'm usually yeah. pretty good at coming up with like melodies and stuff. So at that That's point, good. it was just <laughs> one of those moments. Oh, that sounds yeah. good, man. Thanks. I mean, co- coming up with the two. sounds is <laughs> is pretty pretty complex, though. Yeah, I I just got uh like uh because I used yeah, serum. I wouldn't even know where to start with dubstep. Like I use how do you even I know some people blah 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 blah. So I mean, honestly, like, in samples and shit, but like to actually do it in an oscillator is like honestly a lot of uh a lot of like. Uh, when you hear a dubstep song, like really the only wub stuff you're hearing is in the drop. A lot of the pre-drop stuff is just like, yeah, I guess it's like drum and normal and instruments, stuff and, and then like some samples here and there, kick bass or kick snare and stuff, and then uh, yeah. So I just use Serum, uh, which is what like every fucking dubstep artist uses, and you can find like presets online everywhere. Just because in Serum you can literally make endless amounts of sound, like infinity different sounds, and I just found presets I liked that kind of sounded close to. Like the people I was inspired by. Nice. And then I that just, makes sense. And then I just came up with like different melodies. Do you have like a MIDI keyboard that you use or what? No, but I want to get one because I know it's it's definitely easier to do that. I just so use my just keyboard. Pencil and in you, all this shit. You can use your keyboard as like a MIDI keyboard. Uh, right. And I was kind of fucking with that. Yeah, but, but that's kind of kind of, yeah, that's yeah, kind of, kind of annoying. That's annoying. Yeah. Yeah. But um, when it ha- like when I got inspired to make the song, I, I I wasn't even like, it just randomly stumbled upon me. I just heard them on they were on my YouTube recommended. And I was like, man, this fucking sounds sick. So I just wanted to start doing it. And I don't know. I didn't want to just immediately start buying a full fucking, you know, yeah. MIDI setup and all that crazy shit. But now that I'm like really into yeah. it, I've already made another couple songs. Like, like how long already, does like, it take oh, to make yeah. a dubstep song? Um, the first one took a while because I just yeah was like done with it. But now Can't that really I've got like exactly in the groove of it, it, probably like a week. Yeah, yeah. Back oh, when I was making an EDM like electronic stuff, it was always pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. The old stuff, like when I used to make music before YouTube, uh, the like big room house sound, that shit was easy because it was all samples. <clears throat> like you yeah. just downloaded like a Cymatics loop pack or something and you can make a whole f- like 40 songs with it. That's crazy. Uh, that stuff you have to use like, yeah, instrumentals. And then there's a lot of like, a lot of different like plugins you got to get for it. House music is wild. I remember I, I went to a club in San Francisco that was like a house music Gay it's club. a big booty mix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not know what that is? <laughs> big booty mix? You never heard of that? No. Oh, Can't they're pretty good, how. dude. You should listen to it. I'll, I'll have to check that out. They bring they put out a new one every year or something like that, and they're like three hours long. Nice. Three hours of big booty mixes? That's a lot of booty. Yeah. It's just house music. It's a huge oops, booty oops, mix. Oops. That's a substantial amount of booty. Well, I was going to say what was so weird about house music is how loud it was, but also how not loud it was at the same time. Like in this club or whatever. Were you on was, drugs? No, I was I was completely I was completely sober. It's it was, loud and quiet. It it was though. It's like the what does how that they mean? I guess like how they mix the music mix, maybe. Yeah, I think it that's what kind of like like drew my attention. I'm like it's so weird how loud they're playing the music, but you can still have a you can have like a normal conversation with a friend in the club and not be like, "Hey, man, yeah. hey, you want to go get a drink?" Like you can still talk to them and be like, "Yo, do you want to go to the bar and get a drink?" You don't have to like scream. It was weird it's how so weird. Mm. Yeah, it, and I, I forgot what the name of this place was, but it was really cool. Like everyone was dancing. They had like people hanging from the fucking ceiling. It was like some fucking what? M- oh, MK Ultra I know what you're shit. Talking about it. like the uh, what are those dancers called? Like go-go dancers or something? I don't know, dude. They're like in weird. a bird cage and like they have like these fuzzy Hell boots on. Yeah. Around. yeah, it was like shit like that. They were like hanging from the ceiling, and my southern ass was like, "Dude, where's Willie Nelson and <laughs> fucking yeah. two dollar beer?" <laughs> oh, this is wow. This is some where's devil Conway shit happening, at, man. It's weird. <laughs> There's some devil shit going on in here in San Fran, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I actually That's enjoyed it though. <laughs> yeah, house music like to me like house music is so fun when you're drunk. Is it's just always so like hype and you're just like. 
He's one of the I know, I've never gotten into any electronic music like at all. I'm surprised I don't know because what it is about a it. big reason I love dubstep is because I love metal. Like I love metal. the rise. It, there, there's a ton a of crossover. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't I don't know what it is to be 100% honest with you. Something it just like has Oof. never stuck with me for whatever reason. Have you heard that song uh you know Left to Suffer, right? Yeah. Have you heard that song that Taylor did with Sullivan King recently? Mm, like, Die by no, my hand I, is, I think, think so. is what it's called. No. Dude, that fucking song is crazy. It's like the perfect blend of like heavy ass fucking metal and then just like a crazy dubstep drop out of nowhere. Like uh the yeah, see, Doom I soundtrack. I don't know. I don't yeah, love those. Yeah, that's like, a good that's a good random... way to put it, yeah. Yeah, I don't, there's a band. I forget. I think it was was it North Lane? I can't remember who did that, but I I immediately switched off the song. I was not about it at all. Really? That's like yeah, Corn back in the day. I think uh, Corn and Skrillex made an album together. I can't remember did the they? name of it. It's like a cloud looking album. I think. Mm. It's kind of. Cool. I think that was like the made first a whole album together. Yeah, Skrillex I think it was so I, weird. I could be wrong. I don't know if it was just Skrillex, but I know it was like dubstep and Corn. I think they may have done a song with Skrillex. So I wake up <laughs> every day. I'm stepping <laughs> corn. Eat corn and salad. <laughs> Bowl of corn and wub wub. <laughs> I can only really listen like to it. stuff like that at parties, I feel like. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Stuff. like I can't imagine just like sitting down at my desk and like listening to... Yeah, I don't like, really do that. Just honestly. driving in the car with it. Yeah, I just yeah. want to just fucking floor it. Because even even like <laughs> metal, like I love metal, but there, uh, it's been like maybe five times in my life where I've gotten in my car and just thrown on like deathcore. Like mm. there's a time yeah, and a place for stuff like that. I get what you mean I, by I just, that. Yeah, I don't, I don't ever like. Out. I don't ever just like. I don't have a playlist that has any dubstep on it. Like if I'm sitting at my desk, yeah, I'm fair. listening to like, fucking, Joe Walsh or something like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just listen to like. It's, it's like music. an actual experience to go and like listen to it. Like if you want to listen to it, you're like. Actually exactly. gonna sit down and if just I listen to it okay, all the time, fair. it would just like desensitize me, and I would just not enjoy it as much. Yeah, lose. I like the old school. Would just be the same. Old school dubstep, like Knife Party and Dead Mouse, yeah. and like Skrillex, oh, all the God. old stuff. Yeah, I'm real like nostalgic. I forgot for about it Knife Party. It was all the more like interesting back then. Fun case. Well, back back then it was case. something you you had never heard before, and it was yeah. very it was almost like riffs, like the riffs of the fucking. Like it's it's almost like a guitar riff. Yeah, but it, it was but more it was, like I feel like dubstep back the then was more mild too. Like the drop would come in and be like, "Born." Yeah, now it feels yeah. like the universe is being ripped apart. Yeah, like, now it's like your <laughs> fucking skull. That's because and shit. somebody started doing that and it, everyone, you know, it got popular yeah. and everyone's like, "Oh, it's like it. metal." Everybody wants to be like one up the next guy and be drop more tune harder, another half intense. step down. Exactly. Drop yeah. Down. yeah. <laughs> yep. Keep going lower. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a point where, like, Whitechapel and Suicide Silence were, like, the heaviest fucking thing anybody's ever heard. Yeah. And now, like, a lot of people look at them like they're, like, fucking metalcore, like, baby death metal. <laughs> well, in all fairness, Whitechapel does, like, they do a lot more, like, clean stuff now. Yeah, I now. Guess. But I mean, like, they're, like, oh, like older then. stuff. Yeah. Is there any, uh, yeah. any new slag draw news happening? Uh, <laughs> nothing... Nothing besides just shows. Yeah, yeah we're still. George. Yeah, we're still writing music. That's about yep. it. Just writing and trying to, trying to uh, sort of make the structure of the songs, because we have a shit ton of riffs and we have like really cool sounding <clears throat> ideas. But the big, it's like putting together a puzzle. You know, you take like pieces of yeah. a riff here, here, and here, and you try and like blend something together and make a cohesive yeah, song coherent. yeah yeah that's pretty much all we've been doing so do you like voice memo like you come up with something you're like oh shit write that down and just like save it for later kind of yeah thing. we'll do we'll do I've that, been doing we'll that do with dubstep vo- you ever like record your voice memo and you go like i used to do that back yeah. in the day yeah. <laughs> yeah. i've done that before i'd like that or i'd like try to run over to a piano and like try to figure out <laughs> like a basic version up. of it just so i can just remember like a melody like I'd, would, no, a it'd be like it'd be like if i'm at my house or something like if i was making <laughs> breakfast and i had like a little melody or like if i was driving i'd like drive home faster so i could just like or like whatever you know try yeah. to figure out the melody that was yes sir that shit came to me in an apparition the spirit came to me and told me to write that shit yeah it was me i was a spirit i cherokee spirit on a cloud he played it on a on a on an ocarina and shit on horseback so you weren't like you weren't shit on the horse's back no ascend is actually all like improv that whole like fucking solo is basically improv i didn't like play it in chunks the whole thing was just like in one take that's why it's that's pretty wild 
It sounds okay, but it's kind of rough. You know, it'd be a lot more processed and like professional sounding if I did it now. I but, think that adds yeah. a lot of character to it, though. I, I agree. Have some, to, some I have charm, to listen to it one some day. Charm to that. You should. You should listen yeah. to it one of these days. <laughs> um, what about you, dude? Do you have any like still plans never heard of ascend? What? 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 Sorry. Do you have any plans on like making any music or? Uh, I'm working on some to shit be a on. Beginner. Uh, yes, I always be in the beginner. I, I'm always working on shit on the side. I got a cover I'm putting out with Gibson soon. We covered some fucking. Oh, I meant like like original music. Original music, not at the moment, dude. Finding time for that is rough, cause like, Omegle takes so much time. Yeah. To do and then just keeping up with two channels and shit. I wish I had more time to just cause like making legit music takes so much fucking time. Yeah. But it's a lot of work. Eventually, I'll probably dial it back on just like. Omegle shit and just I focus bet that on shit more takes so long music production. Too. Well, what sucks you, about you it is like... You have to rely like, on other people. Like, you have to rely yeah. on them not being dorks. Well, yeah. just complete strangers on Omegle. Like, that's right. Like, yeah. That's why yeah. I've, I've sort of, like, the last few videos, I, I don't, like, really prepare anything as much as I used to because, like, I could spend hours preparing stuff, but then if I don't find interesting people, it's, like, all a waste of time. Like, yeah. there's times yeah. I'll, I'll work on, like, a, a cover of something for, like, 20 hours. I'm like, damn, this shit goes hard. And then I just can't get a reaction to it. You know what That's I mean? So, so now, shit. now yeah. I just go in there and I just I prepare nothing. I'm like, I'm just taking requests. Fuck it. Yeah. Th name a song. It's it's so I much mean, easier. I mean, realistically, most of the requests are going to be like the super weekend. popular yeah. radio stuff, TikTok. which is like yeah. Well, I was gonna say yes. TikTok sounds. Yeah, or like, TikTok. Yeah. It's like right. whatever song is making Super this basic round. shit. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, love so when that, you when you ask for a request though, and they give you like Kingdom Hearts or something like something actually like not something I've actually played a trillion times or something. Exactly. Or just something yeah. that's not like modern pop or and rap. Like, play the thunderstorm song. Thunderstorm. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what did they play? Person? Lightning rain by D A C A. What was the person that it's recently like, did it on your video? They said like Thunderbird. Thunderbird or by Metallica. <laughs> yeah. Thunder that's what I was trying to yeah. think of. Yeah. Yeah. No shot. So he said hilarious. Thunderbird. It's like every human on the planet knows that song, but they have no idea how to invoke it in a guitar. It's like play that that one that they just don't know what it's called. That's like the peak like peak guitar playing for like people that don't play guitar. It What's sounds weird. Is that's not a hard fast. song oh, at all. At all. If I started like, it is teaching extremely someone, easy. if I started teaching someone guitar who knew nothing about guitar, I could have them playing that in like two weeks. But well, oh, that's yeah. the cool thing about it is how that. simple it's so it's so simple. It's such a simple riff, but it sounds like to people who don't good. to yeah. people who yeah. don't oh, know cool anything riff. about but yeah, like to people who don't know anything about music, that sounds so insane. Like I remember yeah. the first time I heard that, I'm like, dude, that has to be the hardest shit ever. Sure. Like, no, I, I, I totally understand it. <laughs> it's just funny how many people just don't understand how like actually easy it's it like is. It's like the tapping. It's yeah. like Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, babe. I was just gonna say it's like uh most people, if they don't know guitar, that would be the one thing they do know on guitar. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. they only listen to pop or something. They right. at least know that one thing, you know? Yeah, it's like telling a bassist to play, like, Seinfeld theme or, or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I don't get, though? Why did uh, fucking uh, Smoke on the Water become, like, the song to Zero learn five, when you're Zero 12 three. on guitar? I don't like, know why I, that got me so hard. I don't. I don't get why it's smoke that's what on the water. Learns how like, to play either that or Iron Man. No, but it's I get why that one. Classics. Like why? Why that song? Why? Like it's there's a million easy songs that all sound good. Why? Why did that one become the song everybody learns when they're twelve? I think because, because fucking easy. whenever. Well, back in the day, like when we were growing up, because we're all relatively the same age. When you yeah. would get a guitar, the first thing you would do or whatever is go to YouTube and type in like. Yeah. Yeah. Top ten easiest songs on guitar, or and like that's the in easiest, all of them. <laughs> and that yeah, is literally, that's literally in every single. I remember that, yeah. like when I the one of the first nights I had my guitar, I learned like "Smoke on the Water," and I learned like "No Sleep Till Brooklyn," and it's like essentially the same. You're playing the same notes, it's just how it's you're changing way, yeah. a different yeah. way. Bad to the so. bone. <laughs> the thing is too is like that's yeah. a song you could you play on the lowest <laughs> string, and you just play it on one string, and you can play it. Yeah. Right. Like when you start yeah. guitar, you're not playing chords. You're fucking playing one string riffs. I remember when yeah. I was first reading tab, I didn't know the tab was like the strings. Tab. Or are you playing well, them upside down? I was playing the tab upside down. I was like, yeah. God damn, oh. this is hard as shit. <laughs> I'm like this is insane. 
Yeah. It's like playing everything on the fucking small E string. I'm like, dude, this is fucking crazy. Like, these guys are out of their mind. No wonder guitar is so difficult. Yeah, I remember I did that when I was like 15. I like, I tried to learn, I forget what song it was. I think it was a Chili Pepper song. I tried to learn it off the tabs and I went into my guitar teacher and I fucking played it and he's like, what the hell is, what are you playing for right now? I was like, it's a Chili Peppers. And I tried showing him like what I was doing like, with no, my fingers not. and he's like, yeah, I have no idea what you're doing here. And then I was like, no, I, like, I had the tabs and I like got him out of my guitar case. He's like, the tabs are right. I'm not sure what you're doing. And then like, yeah, I figured dyslexic, I was son. reading them completely upside down. <laughs> yeah, I did the same thing. I knew to stop listening to my guitar teacher whenever I asked him if he could help me tune my guitar to drop D and he tuned the low E string up to D and it popped. I was like, okay. Bruh, I might need fuck? to stop listening to this guy. Because <laughs> I, like, I knew it was a dro like, drop tune. I knew it was a drop tune. I was like, why is he tuning it sharper? Nah. And he well, broke the string e and I was D, like, alright, well. He has to go up ten tones. Yeah, yeah he yeah, broke, a the lot. string popped. <laughs> The string just popped instantly. I feel like you tried to play like a Metallica song with the fucking up D, which just sounds so goofy. <laughs> playing on a damn mandolin at that point. Yeah, I was like, all right, maybe I need so to like banjo. Ukulele. Not to this guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so fucking goofy. How do you even become a guitar teacher if you don't know what like drop D is? Yeah, really. Like, I feel like I knew what that was oh, before. Like, I mean, he's like classically trained. <laughs> the easiest tuning. Even classically trained, though. What the, it, the opposite. The classically trained, you'd know <clears throat> shit ton more yeah, theory. that's true, yeah. They just said drop D. <laughs> it's okay. I ended up blowing up his computer. So, no worries. Right. Yeah. How did you... Wait, you that is true. Actually, is this actual lore? <laughs> I yeah. fucked his wife 20 times behind his back. <laughs> Snapping over my strings, bitch. Once in front of his bed. One string equals one <laughs> fucked family member. Yeah, I think I've told the oh story. Oh no, all my guitars broke. <laughs> or I've told it with you here, but Ethan, it was back when everyone had like the gray computers that looked like a Minecraft block where they were oh, huge. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. was like all built into. Well, no, I think there was still a tower. But it was like the big monitor, you know, like the massive yeah, monitor. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Ethan, I told Ethan, I said, go over to his computer and highlight everything on his desktop because he had files and files and files and just bullshit. Yeah, all yeah, on his covered. desktop. And I said, go over there and highlight everything on there and press the enter button like 20 times. <laughs> and, Ethan, <laughs> and Ethan fucking did that shit and that computer bricked. It never worked again. It was really? done. Yeah, and then my buddy in the next class got in trouble for it and he had to like clean his room up for a week or some shit. What? Yeah, was it was in wall. <laughs> Clean his room up at home. He had to go to the teacher's house. And he had to room. clean up the fucking like music he room for a week. For a month. But Ethan <laughs> owned up to it and said it was him. So the other friend didn't have to clean. Did you end uh, up having to clean his room for a week? No, I just got uh, like ISS or something like that. Uh, they sent you to the station? space station. Holy Dude, shit! That's was, pretty fucking what a sick <laughs> detention. <laughs> that was awesome. That's where my love of space began, actually. But it was actually it was fun. <laughs> sent him to ISS. Got sent to a Okay, that's just like my grade school. They put me in the ozone layer. <laughs> that don't exist anymore. Nah, I, I know, this was back in they the said, day, all right? They sent him up there spray. with a hammer, a few nails. <laughs> Ethan fixed the ozone layer. <laughs> just need some two by fours up to the needs. ozone. Not just look up in the sky and you see a big old liberals. Like, give a Mexican a thirty wooden. pack and some old plywood, and they'll go up and fix those. On <laughs> some the guy in coveralls, no clipping through the sky, fixing the ozone. Yeah. A Mexican in creative mode, flying around up there. <laughs> I guarantee, you if we sent Mexicans to space, they'd fix the ozone in a day. Oh yeah, they'd, they'd, it tape it. Up they'd have it done debris. before dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Just duct tape it. That's all you got to do. We need to send the Mexicans and the Amish up to space. Yeah, We'd put, have no more problems. Put the Amish on the moon. See how quick that bitch is colonized. Dude. <laughs> the Amish colonized, would fucking yeah. freak out. I, like, you, they don't even want cell phones. You're going to put them on a space station? Yeah, yeah they true. can't even have like a stripes on their shirt, and they're going to go into space. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, how's a horse going to fit on the space station? <laughs> <laughs> What happens Where do if you we grow the corn? Space? <laughs> I've got to take my buggy on the you put, a, uh, on the station. put rockets on the horse, and maybe they'll be all right with it. You can't churn well, butter the same in space. Just <laughs> 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 to, to strap the, a carriage to the back of a I rocket some, ship and send them some off. goddamn Amish go. moon butter. <laughs> <laughs> Amish moon butter, dude. That sounds like a. <laughs> 
I, I don't know what it the fuck is like a thing. Like, it's a strain of weed, I think. Yeah, that's like if I, if I typed it in on Urban Dictionary, <laughs> it's like, like, like <laughs> when you piss into an Amish person's ass or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then you like churn fuck. it with your dick. And then you fuck the piss. <laughs> Now that's gonna be a real thing. I promise you, that's gonna be the, on the fucking internet the day Amish of this podcast going. I'm just ruining butter. Let me use to put that on the Urban Dictionary. Oh my god, that's awesome! Internet, make it happen. Amish moon butter. <laughs> oh, we, we've cemented ourselves into history with Amish moon butter. So make it's yourself be in textbooks my across the world. <laughs> textbooks. Oh, did any of you guys go saying? to? A, Sorry, Actually, ahead. I doubt you guys had them. Uh, any any Canadians that are in the comment section, there's these <laughs> these family life. Uh, f- did any of you go to like a religious uh, grade school? Nope. No. Like a Catholic mm. grade school. We oh, uh, everyone I fiddled. <laughs> every, yeah, I'm everyone in Ontario that went to one, <laughs> we had to read these uh, family life books, <laughs> and it would talk about like sex and like sucking on titties and shit. Oh, at, at the so age now? of like six. Not surprised. We, we, I was just talking yeah. about that shit. But That's Amish so moon weird. butter is going to be in there. I believe it. <laughs> All, every family life textbook will have Amish Vatican moon butter. Is there Street Canadian book. Amish? Uh, I don't know if those have dropped yet. I don't know if we've got oh. an update for those. I always see them in like Ohio and shit, but, so they're coming closer. They're moving, mm. They're making their way north. Dude, I'll but, never, I saw them in Indiana, <laughs> and they were, I mean, it was like out like of the, nowhere. There was a fucking town of them. Out of nowhere, it's like fields and then boom. Yeah, they're everywhere. That's where they live, just because so they can <laughs> crop and. Farm. Like they were talking about it, like they're a fucking invasive species, like a, like a, like a bunch of rabbits. Dude, it scared the hell out of me. I need some off for fucking. I was out in the middle of the I got abducted up into this machine. <laughs> Amish machine. Oh, actually, that doesn't make sense. I don't know if they have machines. Yeah, true. I actually have Amish butter at my house right now, so now I should go I may hard? not eat it. It's not bad. Hmm. It's really not. You guys, you, uh, you you guys, are you guys butter or margarine people? Do you guys, do you... I'm not marginalized <laughs> for butter. <laughs> I, uh, I'm more of a more of a butter guy myself. I think just butters. What is your <laughs> what is your butter All brand natural. of choice? <laughs> I like to try gold. I like Kerrygold. to try it now. I used yes. to like Lando Lakes before they took my dad off it. Kerrygold is the way to go. <laughs> I don't know if we have any of those brands here. <laughs> you, ever, do you don't have Kerrygold? Come on now. I don't think so. Oh, it's okay. Irish, isn't it? It's the Irish so brand. Good. Grass fed like, beef. It's, it's like just the, the Irish spring flavor ever. It's the Irish spring soap that they scoop up off the floor that doesn't <laughs> make Irish. it through production. <laughs> it's grass fed, buddy. Yeah. Grass fed yeah. soap. Home free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> free range yeah, soap. I don't uh I don't I don't think we have any of those. I don't even remember what fucking Carry gold. What brand I use. It's like butter. a gold it's the the package it's is like gold. Pure life or something. And it has like a green logo. I get the I, silver one though, unsalted. You oh. like unsalted butter? Well, it depends no on what asked. you're making. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> unsalted butter Garlic doesn't bread. burn as easily. Yeah, yeah if you yeah, if you're trying true. to like butter your snail, you something. definitely want to go unsalted. Butter depends your on what snail. You're doing. <laughs> <laughs> if you go on a high heat snail. steak, I don't know. It depends yeah. really. Well, even yeah, because you don't want if butter browns on a steak, it turns bitter. It's nasty. Yeah, that's why you put it in later. You don't put it in too <laughs> yeah, early. Put it in the end. Brown on the butter. A little bit of time. That sounds like an old blues singer. Yeah. Butter Browns. Butter Browns. Mm. <laughs> butter Brown playing the blues. <laughs> What's up with butter puns today? They're like butter lore. <laughs> Did you guys ever you watch Breaking it? Amish? It was on like TLC. No. Is that like, like Breaking Bad knockoff? Of so, they break, no, they so like, like crack their spine in half? Well, to <laughs> build this barn kill today, Amish we'll to... One WWE no, guy so goes like... to an Amish colony. <laughs> yeah. He just breaks... Here we go, takes brother! Off the high rope. <laughs> breaks the vertebrae of Amish all the Amish. Wrestling. No, it's like... Yeah. So when they turn 18, they would just send one of the Amish guys to like downtown New York and just yeah. let him get fucked up. Oh, and like, yeah, I've I, seen the that one before, epi- yeah. The, yeah, the one episode I watched, this guy got like... Hammered. He was do. He was hammered, and I think he was doing cocaine, or I don't know what else he would snort. It didn't obviously say what drug he was doing, but he got pissed off and he started <laughs> punching woman there, and they had him arrested, and his entire life was ruined because they just put this poor little Amish guy yeah, in downtown he, like, New get York, kicked out of let his him go wild. Or something too? Yeah, that, 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 his entire in. life was ruined. Probably. He, he had jail. nowhere to go. Uh, he was in jail first, and then the Amish were <laughs> like, "Yeah, no, this guy did." Blow for a TLC show or whatever the fuck happened. And they just, yeah. he was just TLC. Was he probably went to jail and was like, I built these bars last week. <laughs> <laughs> he probably, knew, he probably <laughs> knew how to get out of there. Where's the Amish moon butt butter or whatever you said? I forget what you called it. 
Yeah, no, that was right. <laughs> yeah, no, that show was fucking insane. I, I only watched that one episode, and I was like, man, they really just ruined this guy's life <laughs> just like that. God, everything's awesome. I feel like everything that I, happened. There's a thing now. I may have said it last time. I don't know why, if I did or not, but there's a thing on TikTok I've seen of a guy who sneaks phones into the like teenage Amish community now. Oh, they like man. leave money under a bridge and he like leaves a phone there or whatever. What? And like there's now there's all these TikToks of these Amish kids like oh, hitting I've vapes seen TikToks and shit. like that where it's like Amish yeah. people. Oh, and he's like the guy. How do they get the it. internet connection? That's they a good question there. Data? Satellite phones like, probably. Data, so I, mean, I feel like yeah. where they live, yeah, I mean, they should have should be close enough. Yeah. To a, I mean when you drive through the country, like you still have service. Yeah. For the most part. It's not great, but Enough to post the TikTok. Maybe they just record it and they so, all... They where, they, the where do they get off. the vapes from? That's my question. They probably <laughs> probably the same it. guy. They probably they just hand it craft it in the woods. <laughs> Amish moon You should date. introduce heroin into their Amish communities. <laughs> Amish moon juice. <laughs> <laughs> I only sell heroin to the Amish. Don't worry. It's fine, <laughs> officer. Who That's how they build that? so quick. Cool. I don't know. Someone. Oh, I haven't said yep. before. Oh, 100%. Oh, 100%. Possibility. Stink. Amish what? lore. <laughs> Amish I don't know blood. where to go from the Amish people. Where do we like? How do we bounce off Amish? Would you guys fucking Amish? Next? If Amish came up to you and said, "Hey, let's fuck," what's fuck the Amish? gender? I need Both. to know more than that. Yeah, Both. I need like I need. Am I going Both? up to like an Amish glory hole? I don't know what no, it is Amish, on the other side. Amish chick comes up to you, full bush out. Say, hey, what's up? You fucking? George Bush is with her? Only if they have dreads. <laughs> yeah, the Only whole Bush family dreads. is there, too. To Nightmare. Only if they have dreads in their armpits. Amish walks up to you with George Bush. Three I say, hello, Mr. Bush. <laughs> Dream <laughs> blunt rotation. Hey, you Bush? George Bush <laughs> and an Amish. <laughs> That's probably like the like start of a joke or something. George Bush, Bush and an Amish, Amish bitch walk into a bar. That was the they, whole joke, actually. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the start and the finish of a joke. One says they want to build it. One says they want to destroy it. <laughs> How fast fast can the Amish roll a blunt? That's a real question. Probably pretty quick. Yeah, I would like 0. 0.8 seconds. <laughs> 0. 0.8. That's <laughs> their crafting Damn. speed. <laughs> do, they, do they smoke weed? What's your zero to blunt roll speed? I don't. I wonder I don't, if I Amish uh, like. I don't think they I do. Doubt, weed or I don't guess. think they're. I think anything that brings joy is not okay. True, yeah. yeah. I don't think they've done anything unhealthy ever. I think they're like Mormon. They beat Except for the Mormon, moon butter. Besides being born. Yeah. <laughs> you know, What's the difference between Mormons and Amish? <laughs> A lot, probably. Mormons can have technology and shit. And Mormons they have like five wives, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit, they have really? bicycles. They're like the American version of like <laughs> I forget what the Arab one is. They have that dress like you pants. Have lots of wives. Some Mormons think that when you die, you get your own planet, like Jeebus. Actually, Jesus has a planet. You come back. Uh, Jeebus has all the planet. planets. Is that true for real? Yeah. Wow. That's kind of sick. Now, now all that. the comments are gonna be like, "I'm Mormon," and that's actually wildly inaccurate. <laughs> that's how I'm they talk though. too. They piss out a kidney. They piss out a kidney stone. As a Mormon, I can confirm this is true. They have a lisp in their comments. I have a whole galaxy. <laughs> Sorry, what, McNasty? About lisp? I don't know. Oh, All right. kidney stone he said their comment has a lisp. I don't know. I don't really know the yeah. the logistics of that. You know what's wild is Church of Scientology. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the spaghetti monster. Yes. Yeah, what is they that? have a spaghetti monster. I don't think it's they have. A sp I, I'm pretty sure they have the this thing from the monster. back rooms. I read that in Genesis. <laughs> I've seen the thing with Leah Remini talking about it. Oh, yeah, Deuteronomy 316. <laughs> Leah Remini? Yeah, from, spaghetti on the third yeah day. from King of Queens. She was in Scientology. Sounds like a type of medicine. Yeah, John all Travolta right. and uh, Tim, Tom Cruise. Tim Cruise? Tim, Tim Tom Cruise. Two Tom Cruise. Tom yeah. on your Leah Remini daily. That is wild, though. Okay, the so they made, the, about? they made the spaghetti monster as a parody to Scientology. Oh. Got it. What does Scientology even believe in? Science. I've heard Probably some people, not Italian people. I've They're scared some... of the spaghetti monster. That's kind of racist. Have you ever seen the Have you ever seen the monsters? the South Park episode about Scientology? No. No, none I'm of not. you have never seen that. Mm. A what? The South Park episode about Scientology. No, I feel like South Park was for fourteen year olds who smoked weed because their parents worked sixteen hours a day. <laughs> 
integrity. Nailed that demographic. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah, hundred percent accurate. Um, no, but if you watch if you watch that episode of South Park, everything they describe in that episode is real. They like they believe this weird alien like killed a bunch of souls and then dropped in this volcano and all the souls yeah. left and they like. Took over the bodies of, of cavemen and shit. And so all all human is immortal, <clears throat> apparently. Uh, Life was like yeah. seeded in a volcano by aliens, erupted, okay. and then sprouted across the planet. Some wild shit. Like that sounds I know like that, some but, Lord of the Rings. I mean, like, There's, like in, steps in to it. In theory, though, that makes that. sense. I guess like some of the most fertile soil is is well. The thing is, L. Ron soil. Hubbard, the, so, the guy that created Scientology, he was was a science fiction writer before he made the thing. So it's like. Kind of pretends to be shocked. Yeah. <laughs> no. Who could have no seen that way. coming? <laughs> yeah. I know wild. there's like steps to it. Like you don't get to read the final book until you like graduate into it or something. Like you don't know the full. What, what are, they're just not going to teach you how to read. Yeah. Them. There's different like. <laughs> no, you don't get access to it or something. Like you don't. The ancient scrolls. Yeah, crowds. you have like feet and levels and like different like shit. Like that's yeah, weird. I don't yeah, know the feet exact levels. <laughs> Feetin. What? It's some they kind of like your foot. Feet and hands. <laughs> I know the way they did the South Park the episode dick. is not right, but it's like, uh, yeah, you're right though, Ethan. There's like some kind of like levels to like it. Like you read this, and then once you, they think you understand it, you get to move on. Yeah. Because the girl that was talking about it, like her mom knew. She's it's like, like raid boss. You're gonna understand one day, and then she finally read it and was like, "This does not make sense," <laughs> and she left, and they were pissed about it, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> They were like, we just gave you some secret information, and uh, you left. Oh, no. Not good. <laughs> Didn't ask, bud. She got the no Scientology good. battle pass and backed out to the main lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody want the Scientology battle pass. Yeah. <laughs> whether you were a winner or whether you were a loser, we all end up back in the lobby. I saw you post that today. That was very inspirational. Wow. Went for an extra rep at the gym because of that. <laughs> Beat my PR by like 300 pounds today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you guys think about shin guards? Okay, shin guards? For what, what context? Yeah. I don't what? know. Well, what, what, think about what do you think about Shanghai? I, shin, guards? shin guards? I use them in soccer. Uh, I wear them in hockey still. They're cool. Shin guard. Effective. Not a chi- Are we talking about shin or shin? What's a chin guard when you're Sorry. sucking dick? What do you need uh, a yeah, chin guard sack. for? He's <laughs> <laughs> got a sturdy nut sack. I got to put on my chin guard. Dude, why have nut sacks not evolved to oh, be hardened you, and armor? You said it so offended like you like, you Dude. called you out on something Bro, you did. Bro, really? Dude, are you serious? <laughs> I told you that in private. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, why are nut sacks the most like gentle skin on our body? Why is it why not like need to hard, be hard as a rock? Why do you need box? hard nuts? It's because you're not a Scientology boy. You, ain't read the final, exactly. yeah. you yeah. haven't read the final footbook yeah, yet. You, you haven't learned the ball sack <laughs> hardening technique. you got to rub that volcanic ash on your nut sack <laughs> to make it hard forever. Yep. You travel back to Sauron or whatever the tit, and then you dip Sauron. your balls in the lava. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you go to yeah. Algotha. <laughs> I only know what that is because the Joe Biden meme. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Algotha. This podcast is going to get flagged for something. For misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. There's too many buzzwords and then bullshit after it. Yeah. YouTube bot is like freaking Air out. fryer bomb glazed donut. <laughs> air <ISIS>. fryer bomb. <laughs> I would make a doing, bomb Ethan? with an air fryer. This is, I heard uh, him crack a beer earlier. No, this is made beer. by... Uh, Buffalo Trace, the people who make Buffalo Trace. Oh, I've never seen that before. <laughs> it looks like the ball Barstool Sports logo. Kind of does, I guess. It has like that collegiate, collegiate how font. Does that, Not bad. How does that look anything like Barstool Sports? I just agreed so we wouldn't have to keep talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> you would make a great boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yep, sounds good to me. Anyways. <laughs> how about hey, the honey, my horoscope told me that I'm feeling a good mood today. All right, bitch, whatever it is. <laughs> I feel like if I was a worm, I'd be ugly. Yeah, probably. <laughs> whatever. Sounds good. I got to go do a thing. See a guy about a thing. See you later. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how straight up you were about that. Oh. <laughs> 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 you okay, get it. Anyway. What? I'll get it. 
What has everyone know, been up to? Oh well, yeah, we haven't even got to that part yet. Uh, oh, I, uh, Music Scientology. <laughs> yeah, I joined Scientology. <laughs> nice. What book are you on? Foot one. Leviticus wow. 40. Uh, he's a noob. <laughs> the first foot. Foot noob. You're a foot noob. <laughs> I actually have not been up to anything this week at all. Me either, bro. Really? I've been taking That's time off surprising. to do absolutely fuck all, and it's been nice. <sighs> yeah, I've been kind of just trying to I figured to you would have not... had at least eight golf tournaments, a couple of trips <laughs> to Tennessee. I did I did play golf, but that I didn't think that was notable. It is about That's what I was going to say. Get a hole in one right, or an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> We played Top Golf, your ass. Oh, Top yeah. Golf's fun. Angry Birds Top Golf is good. I beat uh, his ass. Yeah, that was uh, I was really confusing. Angry Birds because I feel like I need to. Yeah, you can like play different games on like the screen thing, but it's just on the screen, so it's all like simulated. So I don't actually know where the fucking where to uh, aim or anything. So it's I just because you're bad. Driver. You're Let me bad. Tell you something it's Angry I, Birds. None it's of it matters. matters. It's Angry Birds. It's None the same it reason matters. both of y'all fucking sucked at Mario. There's a reason that Angry Birds <laughs> was a kids game because it doesn't matter where you aim, how hard you then hit Then why it. the fuck did you lose the then? Because you it fucking doesn't lost matter. and you were mad. The tower you guys might also, fall, it might not. You, you play Mario with y'all and it's like, I don't know where to jump. Do I jump here? Bro, I, I was, fell off the platform. I was playing with the arrow keys. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> the arrow keys. You guys get oddly <laughs> mad at <laughs> simple games. <laughs> I did not Ethan's get like, mad Dude, We got to play Elden Ring next week. We got to get on Elden oh, Ring boy, and get the fun. moon bell yeah. and go up to the fucking... Dodecahedron plane, and then I'm like, "You want to play some Angry Birds golf?" He's like, "I don't fucking get it! I don't get it!" <laughs> like the most does, simple dude. shit in the world. I hit my seven iron straight, and it's like two points, and he shanks a driver over the net, and it's like eighty-seven thousand points. You're the winner. It's like I know how to play the game. What are the rules? I'm confused. <laughs> I think hit ball. That's yeah, it's it. like. Just touch the ball and something is going to happen. You don't know what. I, I told that to many yeah. random women in parking lots. <laughs> <laughs> touch the ball, see what happens. That was an alley hoop. You're welcome. Thank, I thank threw you. that one to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> I feel like the most fun I have at Top Golf is just trying to hit the ball over the back netting. Yeah. I was just hitting it over the right one this time on purpose. <laughs> you ever see that guy that like one arms shit at Top Golf and he like fucking? I was it? talking about uh, him the other day, yeah. um, bro. The PGA oh Tour had him out there uh, at Snappy the waste Gilmore. management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a nice wild. dude. They had him come Instagram out and do like a celebrity ago. pro am thing just because of that. Mm. PGA Tour yeah. inviting him out. It's, it's so weird watching him swing normal because he like swings some of his like like he does wedge shots and stuff. Like two armed, and it is just looks like so worse? foreign. Is he worse two handed than one? Uh, with a driver, he is. He hits like Damn. a fat slice. Well, he used to, I should say. I don't know about it anymore, but he hits like a fat slice when he actually two arm swings. That's so wild. Yeah, I don't know how he generates that much fucking power. It's pretty crazy. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's yeah, it's Snappy Gilmore. If anybody wants to check him out on Instagram, it's uh interesting. Very unique swing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I've tried it before and it didn't go well. I also tried the the Happy Gilmore swing uh, at Top Golf and I almost broke my fucking. Uh, you just like run up to it. Ankle. Yeah, you just like sprint up. Yeah, I almost broke my ankle because I like slid on the mat and it was not a good time. Yeah, yeah. Just fall off. Fall you slid on stories. yourself. It's crazy. Yeah, I slid Dumbass, on, dude. Uh, I, I slid on myself. Why I is there no bottom golf? Anyways, only Notice how no one said anything <laughs> after that. <laughs> and still <laughs> Anywho Bottom foosball On to the next topic You know who's a wild motherfucker is Cartnarks Y'all seen this guy? Yeah Who? Cartnarks? Absolutely That Bro. guy is Cartman? insane I don't he know how he's favorite, still man. drawing breath on planet earth What is he? Dude we've been watching Cartnarks Whenever we do our stream shit for a while now, and I'm like, this guy wants to die. Dude, I've watched yeah. him on TikTok for a he's long time. He's trying dude. to That's die. Right. Sometimes, yeah, Something. sometimes he's a yeah. little too bold. It's like, dude, and like, you need to back I, it, off a little it's bit. Like, it's like he's trying to like suicide by cop, but like random people. He, like, he's asking <laughs> yeah. to be killed. Yeah. 
I think it's what hilarious. What does he do? <laughs> he, uh, he just, people that don't, all right, go ahead. Do you explain it? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. He just, people who don't put their carts away, he goes and harasses them pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> what a legend. And he has yeah. like these magnets, and when they're driving away, he'll like toss a magnet on the top of the car. Dude, I wonder if that's you actually that does that. I could, honestly, yeah. I could, it, like, <laughs> I think that could it's be you. very, very I had that theory. The f- I'm not sure your attack. Yeah, dude, I can you say, had can you that say don't be a lazy bones? Don't be a lazy yeah. bitch. I mean, <laughs> it's me, one to one. I don't it's, know, it's man. Very, it's very similar. It's very Can you similar. say, uh, whoops, come out of Oh, there you go. Mm, I'm pretty, telling It's yeah. pretty fucking close. I, I had the like theory. The he first also time doesn't show his it. face, so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is the Eric. The only I people said, who know what it looks like are his victims. Yeah, no. That's what dude does on his... That's why he can't make new music, because he's just fucking out there like... Like, yeah, I, have no I, I don't have any I just don't free have time. time. I'm too yeah. busy. Between Meagle and telling He's people throwing, to pull their fucking shopping carts back. I'm <laughs> throwing <laughs> magnets on people's cars. <laughs> yeah, no, Putting your shit. carts away is actually the most, like, self-moderated thing in the world. Like, that's how you judge if somebody's a good yeah. person or not. Uh-huh. Because, like, yeah. nobody's going to yell Bro. at you. You're not going to get in trouble. Well, Nothing's, There's no unless. negative effects for the most part. Blarg, you uh, should watch some. You just got to do it. He gets in arguments with people yeah. and... Dude, there's one guy that he thought he had the moral. He thought he was like doing the. He knew what he was doing, and the Cartnarks guy is so good at arguing. He like compares it to like, oh, if someone like shit on the floor in the bathroom, you know, like with you know, or something like that. <laughs> that it's seems like, like a he, bit of a stretch. <laughs> yeah, but he knows how to like connect the dots. You know yeah. what I mean? And like make it. Yeah. And the other guy was dumbfounded. He's Flabbergasted. Like, he was. Yeah. He met his match. It's, it's pretty good. What? What? It's a what? good watch. You can watch it for a couple of hours. And, Have you ever yeah. seen one where they actually like change their mind and take the cart? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I haven't seen one like that. Most of the ones you see on TikTok are just the really pissed off people. Yeah. The cuts. But I want to know what his I, origin story is. Why did he feel so compelled to start doing this? Probably worked at a grocery store before. I, when I worked no, at a grocery store, going out at like 10 trolling. p.m. in the fucking cold rain... Yeah. I think die. his car got hit by a cart one time that uh, someone left out because that's what he always says. <laughs> that was his he's like, like village versus villain origin story. Uh, he's like, what if that villager. goes and hits someone else's car or whatever? And there are, and like, he has a whole argument to it. I mean, mm-hmm. you can't find holes in this guy's argument. I'm telling you. See, no. I like to. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. If I see like an old woman <laughs> in a parking lot putting her groceries up, I go over and stab her twelve times. <laughs> Dude, I Most I thought British it was going to be the other way around. I, I, know, I think was <laughs> at the grocery store, and this old lady is, like, struggling to get groceries out of her cart. And uh-huh. I went Donkey over, Kong and puncher. I, like, I offered to help. I was like, oh, uh, do you want me to grab these back. and put the cart away? And I grabbed a bag. She had, don't touch my stuff. And, like, snark, <clears> and I just fucking, I was like, oh, all yeah. right, I'm never doing that again. I Bro, you should have slammed mouth. it on the ground. Broke it. Yeah. Dude, I, I don't know just what her eating all the food right there. Just pull out her raw water chicken water. breast, you rip it out of the bag and start eating it in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> just bite right through the side of her watermelon. <laughs> you bite her car door off. <laughs> you just eat her. <laughs> By the fucking jaws of life? What are you... <laughs> the ritual of summoning Shoe Nice and he eats her car whole there on the parking lot. There you lot. go. I just say Shoe Nice three times on YouTube. <laughs> We I'll can't say, say it two time. more times. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, one more time. Don't evoke it one more time. Don't do it. Shoot. Nice shoes. shoes. Nice. Your nice. shoes are nice, man. What? We're playing a dangerous game. Yeah, we are. <laughs> why is he like Beetlejuice? Like, I don't understand why he just pops up. I don't know why. Who, who had the lore with him? Was it you, Soup? Yeah. yeah. What What happened? Dude, I I don't even really know. Like, I just... I, I thought his videos were hilarious, just like everyone else. And... I th- I think I just reacted to some of his videos. I went into one of his live streams or whatever while he was while I was streaming. He happened to be streaming, and I just went in there and like my chat went in his chat and was like telling him to like eat his headphones or something because that was the meme I was talking about. Mm. It was where he puts like the the Apple headphones in the his AirPod, mouth, yeah, 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 or whatever, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. like so loud because it's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Yeah, and I was like looking him up or something, and he happened to be live. I was like, oh, shit, he's streaming right now. And my chat went in there and was, like, telling him to eat his headphones, and he fucking started doing it or whatever. <laughs> and I I think after that, I just sort of left and didn't really say anything else or whatever. I was like, that's, haha, you know, that's funny. And then, like, just went on about my business. And then now he just hates me. 
He just hates That's me. I'm so like, I don't weird. Because you gave him attention. What a weird guy. Hey, you yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't. I feel like career? he probably he probably know. assumes all attention towards him is negative. So he how just can like, you have negative yeah, attention? I, know, I like. Dude. I love watching him eat SpongeBob stickers in an alley when his wife divorced him. Well, he's been in a lot of, of like favorites. controversy and stuff, and like he gets a lot of like <laughs> negative nonsense. Yeah, when you chug a bottle of Everclear, that tends to happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One controversy <laughs> per bottle of Everclear. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it's funny it's you said that. Ratio, I, saw, honestly. I saw a TikTok of him yesterday where he was like sitting in front of a Walmart or something. He's like, I just want you to let you guys know I'm 40, 40 days sober, high as a kite, sitting in front of Walmart. What are you looking at? He looks at this dude walking by. <laughs> 40 days sober. sober on what? I don't know, but me, after that, he immediately he said, yeah, hi. Yeah. Airplane. <laughs> as a on <guy."> plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Six years Decided sober to cut on out stickers. Metal from my <laughs> no, no, it was the stickers were not six years ago. Yeah, Those true. were kind of recent. Those were when his life wife left him. Technically, really shoe nice is vegan. All he eats is plastic. Vegans Fair. accept him. I wonder what he eats on like a normal Tuesday. Like, do you think that's only for videos that he's like eating headphones, or do you think he just sits down with like sweet baby rays and like a pile of spatulas? <laughs> I think if you're shoe nice, uh, uh, Tuesday doesn't exist if you're shoe nice. Yeah. I was going to say, there's no such thing as Tuesday. It's just survival. Every day is still Taco Tuesday. He just eats plastic tacos. That's sad. Still Taco (laughs) Tuesday, though. It's like Barbie's pussy. What? (laughs) Plastic taco. I don't know. Oh, no, you have plastic taco? Yeah. Yeah, Barbie's (laughs) pussy. Barbie's (laughs) pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna slip like eight out sound there. bites from this. I don't, I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> mm. Matt, can you stare into the camera menacingly? Some more memes. <laughs> <laughs> I moved it over so you guys could stop seeing my monitor. Everyone is complaining about it. Oh, the, that was really pissing like, me off, brother. I don't, I don't know. Well, not, not, <laughs> not you guys. The comments. Everyone's just like. Yeah, there's 200 comments on every fucking thing I do about seeing my monitor. It's like I'm not watching porn while I'm recording. You want to see the video twice? Sure. Right now I'm I'm playing Maple Story. You want to see that? Sure. We should we like, should I'm just not- do Maple Story and, and RuneScape for uh for a podcast. No, just have that as y'all's webcams <laughs> yeah. the whole time. I wouldn't be opposed. I played fucking Mario Rampage with my webcam one time. <laughs> oh yeah, the shotgun thing. That was that. a fucking shit show of a podcast. Yeah, I don't even know what I was doing. I'm going to go hey, bring my, my camera page. into my room just play arcade games for the podcast. We should do that for uh, Goons go Gaming, actually. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Put a GoPro on your head and play an arcade machine? Yeah. That'd actually I'd be kind of fun. Yeah. We need to do Goons Gaming. We literally hired an editor, and everyone was all hopeful because we talked about it, and then we haven't recorded since. <laughs> Have we posted those videos that we did <laughs> no, and sent to no, that guy? No, we've done nothing. <laughs> wow. It's, it's Sempoppy Rick. I think wow. we're allowed to... S- Man, Say we who we hired, right? Monkey yeah. cock. Yeah, we are actually useless at that at doing that. I like Goons Gaming. It's fucking easy. It is. So it's, easy. it's easy, but we never do it. Yeah, that's a weird thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always down. It's because whenever we want to record, we want to record like main channel stuff. So it's like we never really think about Goons Gaming mm-hmm. a whole lot. Yeah. It's also like hard when it's your job. It's like hard to motivate yourself to do things that don't pay you. <laughs> Like as bad as that sounds, it is genuinely yeah. like true. Well, like I think that's if fair I can, to say. if I can dedicate, like if I have two hours of my day, I'm gonna try to dedicate that to like, you know, things that actually make money over jacking off. Yeah, it'd be like imagine like yeah. it, like it, let's say you did. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong in saying that at all. Actually, no. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> want to just walk into Chick Fil A and be bro. like, "Don't pay me today. Don't pay me." Yeah, <laughs> I don't think there's anything. You can apply wrong that to any that. job. You wouldn't just go into your office job and work a whole day for so no for reason. Sucking dick. Yeah, but people view YouTube as like a way <laughs> different career. Like I feel like people actually get pretty annoyed when you say you like money as a content creator. Like you're not uh, supposed yeah. to be allowed to. I don't. I feel like not wealth. so much anymore. Yeah, maybe not, not anymore. A, it's not as bad as it used to be. I remember yeah. back in the day, dude. Like. Every YouTuber fucking takes pre-rolls now. Like, every YouTuber does raid or yeah. some sort of yeah. game sponsor. Like, dude, back in the day, if you did a fucking sponsor, people fucking yep. hated yeah. you, dude. Yeah. Yeah. If you took a sponsor, you got shit on. It didn't, like, didn't Which fucking matter who you were. Which is such a weird take. Like, imagine you went into work and your boss is like, here's a bonus, and you're just like, yeah. I'm going to take that. And everybody's like, how fucking dare yeah. you? Yeah, do, like, do an extra two hours of work for an insane bonus. Like yeah. He, okay. Yeah. Well, the thing is, too, is yeah, like, I've got I, sponsors are more chill now with people, like with viewers and stuff. I think it's because creators yeah. are so much more like vocal about like how shitty YouTube is. 
Especially with like the age restrictions and stuff like that. So it's I like, mean, <clears throat> now people are like, more. Yeah, people are more understanding. We about still it. make no, no, no. I'm plenty not, of money with I'm not saying ads. that we like don't. The, I'm not saying we don't. I don't. That's, that's okay, not at all. I, was, I was gonna say people, uh, okay, like, you, the way you've made that worded that made yeah, it sound I, I like we don't like, make any money off YouTube. No, no, not at all. We we make. Well, I think he's just getting at more money. the inconsistency. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And especially like the ages, like a lot of people post about ages. Like people understand more about like the fact that YouTube kind of like fucks you over sometimes. Yeah. So people are more understanding. They're like, okay. This well, people used to even like get mad when somebody had an editor. Like, I remember Smitty when he first like oh, transitioned yeah. to having an editor. He couldn't even say he had an editor because like people would get mad. Felt even like though they, disingenuous. Or like, something. even though there was an editor for the last like seven months, they didn't like if he brought it up, they'd get mad. Or like yeah. when I first started working for Scotty, he was like, "Yeah, I don't know if I want to say I have an editor." And I was like, "I mean, all right, sure, whatever." But like, it's so weird. Like, if anything, they just add an extra little bit of content to your videos. Like, editor, do this, and you know. I, I love think that people people moment. just yeah. will find a reason not to like yeah. something, you know. That's fair. Yeah, that's uh, that's valid. I feel like people also like there's a lot more content creators, and especially because like people stream on Twitch now and shit, you can actually just ask questions about YouTube. So yeah, people, yeah, are a lot people more understand on how more. The shit works for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the whole fucking realm of YouTube and everything has changed so drastically just in a decade. Mm -hmm. So yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. I guess people have been doing for some reason in my head a decade like YouTube didn't even exist. I forget that like a decade yeah, YouTube was already hell. like established. Like that was yeah, a full on like, thing. Twenty thirteen was a decade ago. That's crazy. To yeah, think that's fucked up. Damn, Bobby. I don't like being old. That is wild. Actually, McNeese, are you the oldest one here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the old man. Not by a lot though. No. No, Dude's 46. Cope. You're, you're yeah, I've been 47 some, for like eight years. Did I just hear some cope? Yeah, some copium. <laughs> I just heard some, some, cope. some copium coming up from the, the top <laughs> right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wait, <laughs> I think the in the video, right. I'm, wait, am I top right on the video? No, I think I'm... Editor, know, make does, it happen. Does he, yeah, does put me in the top right around? this episode. Editor, yeah, switch us all around and confuse the fuck out of people. <laughs> Editor, put me upside down for three seconds now. Editor, I want Blarg's block. I want people to think I'm Canada. I don't. I don't know if the block is. Uh, you know what, sure, buddy. You can. You can be. Editor, Canada. put a Canadian flag on this podcast somewhere. When are you guys? When are you? When is Slackjaw coming to Canada? Come play a show in Toronto. <laughs> I want never. to. I'll do. Oh, <laughs> I want to, dude. I I want to play everywhere. I want to play on Mars, dude. I want to play. I want to play in the Mariana Trench. Parking I'll play show on Mars. <laughs> you just no, in like a fucking it. titanium suit, <laughs> jamming out the Mariana Trench. <laughs> Can't hear anything because he's got the helmet on. Yeah. My fucking bass electrocutes me and I die. Hopefully. <laughs> Whoa. What? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, hopefully. What? Wow. There Even you if go. you guys I'm don't have a shit, you just need to bring shit. Slackjaw and Ethan over to over to Toronto. It would be fun. I'll get you guys hammered this time instead of you guys getting me hammered. It's like we'll you're coming. You're that. still coming down <laughs> to golf soon. You have to. Yes, I know. Come I know. swing I the clubs. He says Sweeney Clubs. I don't know what the fuck a Sweeney Club is. Sweeney Todd. It's an exclusive golfing club. Sweeney Club. Yeah, I ain't going in there. <laughs> is it Can about I have a that spicy time, weenie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I gotta pee real bad. All right. Well, in that case, Are those soup, do the outro. Yeah, drinking too much G Sups. Right? Oh, yeah, G Sups goons. game, dude. It'll make you piss on the race. Buy some G Sups. Pour game of subs in your wiener hole. Our flavor is gonna come out very soon, motherfucker. Very soon, motherfucking. Uh, just wait. You just wait a hot Should minute. be good. You don't have a don't choice. Don't put to game wear. of subs in your pussy. Put it in your wiener. Go download on Spotify while you're putting game of subs in your wiener hole. <laughs> okay, and you like and twice. subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe on YouTube while you're putting game of subs in your wiener hole. <laughs> That's in your wiener hole? That's send me a video of you putting game of subs in your wax. No, do, do not send do any videos yeah. of us, of your wiener or gamer subs. Post a 3D printed version of yourself making a penis geyser with G subs coming out of your wiener hole. Sure, I'll allow that, that is one. meta as fuck. <laughs> Meadow. Yeah, yeah. That's Goodbye. about it. <laughs>